Okay, this is going to be a quick, uh, crucial C300 SSD update. Uh, due to everyone's comments, I was kind of got some ideas rolling in my head on what could be wrong with my SSD. I will tell you that I've done something that's increased the performance of the SSD. Now, it's not really helped my boot up times. My boot up times are still running about 40 seconds, which I guess that's about six seconds better, but I don't think it's significant. Uh, but what I want to show you is enabling AHCI. If you enable AHCI, you get a performance boost in your hard drives. Now, I know for sure it happens using an SSD, and I'm going to show you what I mean. When I originally did my ADO benchmark on my SSD, I was running in the BIOS in under my serial ATA was in the IDE compatibility mode. And so someone suggested, hey, run it in uh, ACHI. And that's what I did. And I want to show you, this video is going to show you the difference. Here is a picture that I took when I ran the ADO benchmark when I was in IDE compatibility mode. And if you look at it, my maximum write for the C300 was 216 megabytes per second. <clears throat> and my maximum read was 200 and looks like 258 megabytes per second. Yep. And so what I'm going to do now, I am now in AHCI mode, and I'm going to go ahead and run ADO, and I will show you the difference. It's really amazing. Okay, here it is. Uh, let me close out some stuff here. Okay, so I don't have anything hard drive intensive running. So let's go ahead and start this and see what happens. Now again, this is with AHCI enabled. And it's actually not just an easy thing to enable it. If you already have your operating system installed, you can't just go and enable it because you're, you get a blue screen. Your computer won't start. But if you go into to the registry editor, which I'm going to show that at the conclusion on how to do this, uh, you can actually change it to AHCI in your BIOS and probably pick up a performance gain for your, definitely for an SSD and maybe even for a hard drive. So here we go. So my writes are at 194 and my reads are at 227 right now. Okay, my writes are at 216. And look at that, my read is 268. Okay, now that's better. Remember, I had a high of 216 on the previous, now I'm at 220 for my writes, and look at that, 278 for my reads. 221 for my write, 284 for my read. That is amazing. On a single drive, 284 megabytes per second. 223 for write, 285 for read. 286, and I think that's what I got when I tested it earlier. It's 286 when I wasn't recording it. Let it finish up here. Okay, it's about done. Okay, so let's put my picture that I had before. See if I can shrink it down here. So go ahead and look at that. The uh, numbers to the left are with AHCI not enabled, and the numbers to the right 
is with it enabled. And you can see my writes went up about, I don't know, almost 15 megabytes per second, and my reads went up about 30 megabytes per second, and that's significant. So for those of you at home, if you think your hard drive's been acting slow, I mean, I think you can enable AHCI and get a gain from it. So uh, that's the uh, test, and let me show you how to do that. Okay, this is going to be a quick how-to to change your uh, hard drives from IDE mode to AHCI mode. So, now this is an ASUS BIOS, so your BIOS may be different. But for an ASUS BIOS, you go to Main, and see down there where it says Storage Configuration, you click on it, and see, like I told you, I've already changed mine to AHCI. But if yours is an IDE, you'll see something like this says IDE. Okay, so after you confirm that it's IDE, you do not change it. Do not change it now. We've got to make a registry edit in Windows first. If you don't do that, you're going to get a blue screen and you will not be able to get into Windows. Now, I'm going to go back with mine because I've already done... I can't go back without doing, undoing the registry edit. So, I'm going to leave it in AHCI, but again, if yours is not in AHCI mode, leave it in IDE mode. We're just checking the BIOS to make sure that it is in the right mode. So we go ahead and get into Windows, and you can see, if I don't have to post, my SSD is pretty quick. It gets right into Windows. Okay, so now we're into Windows. Now there is a Microsoft uh, knowledge base that, that actually told me how to do this. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to link that in my notes to the right. Here's the address up here. Uh, so this is how you do it. I'm going to zoom in down here. we got to get into the registry editor. So you click on this and you click on where you can write something, a search or whatever. And you want to type in reg edit. R E G E D I T. And then click on it. I'm going to bring this over here. Okay, let's focus in on up here. Okay, from here, it'll probably look like that when you get here. You want to click on H key local machine. Then you want to click on uh, system. And then you want to click on con current control set. So you click on that. And then see where it says services? Make sure it's in your screen there. Go ahead and click on services. Now you get a long line of stuff. Look at all that stuff. You want to look for uh, MSA HCI. So it's going to be all the way down in the M's. So let's scroll down here until we get to the M's. MC, I mean MSA. And there it is right there. So you you click on it and it brings up these to the right. What you want to do is you want to go to the name column and right click on the start button. And then you want to left click on the modify. And this box will come up. Now if you were in IDE mode, more likely the value that will be in there is 3. Since we want to go to AHCI mode, we want that value to be 0. So what you're going to do is you're going to change this value from 3 to 0. And of course I've already done this, so mine's already 0. So I put it to 0, you hit OK. Now since you made a change after you do that, you get out of it, okay, now back and it'll ask you to again. restart. So and remember, it's under the main tab, and I went ahead and changed it back to IDE off the camera so it looked like I was really doing it. You go down to Storage Configuration, hit Enter, and where it says IDE, you want to change that to AHCI, and that's it. After you do that, you go ahead and save, you know, save your changes.